In this video, I will first show you how to program a random number generator with BHDL, then simulate the program with our simulation assistant, and finally show you how to do a simulation with BHDL. Create a new project with the VHDL template. Go to the Library Explorer, search for UART, right-click the library and add it to your project. Because we do not use the VHDP string libraries, you get some warnings in the Code Errors tab. Double-click one warning and delete the read and print string function in the UART.VHDP file. Search for the random number library and add it to your project. Add the UART component to your VHDL code. Create and connect the signals. Do the same for the random number generator, but you only need the data output. Create a process for our code that receives and sends the UR data. Create a variable for the current state. When the UART interface starts receiving something, go to the next state. When the interface finished receiving, save the range for the random number.
create a variable for that. And you must convert the standard logic vector to a natural. When you subtract 47 from the ASCII value for 0 to 9, you get a number from 1 to 10. Then you create a variable for the random number. Convert 8 bits from the random data vector to a number. Get the remainder of the division with the number range using mod. Now, you have a random number from 0 to your number range, minus 1. Set the data to transmit to your random number. Add 48 so you get the ASCII value and convert the natural to a standard logic vector. Now, set TX enable to 1 so the transmission can start and go to the next state. Wait until the transmission starts. Go in the next state and wait until the transmission is finished. Then go to the first state. Click on the create button to convert the VHDP code to VHDL and select the pins. Select the MAX1000 as hardware. The RX and TX pins are already connected. You can then connect the blinking LED from the default program with one user LED on the MAX1000 board. Wait until the compilation is finished. Select long-term programming if you want to save the configuration on the FPGA. Connect the MAX1000 with a USB cable to your PC and click on the program button. Open the serial monitor. Make sure the baud rate is set to 19200 and refresh the connected devices. Select your MAX1000 in the drop-down menu. First, you should set the line ending to none. To get a number between 0 and 6, send 6 to the MAX1000. You see the random number printed in the console, but something isn't working correctly because we only wanted one number as return. Disconnect the USB connection and clean the console. Click on the simulation button to create the simulation file. Set the time to simulate to 10 milliseconds and select the CLK input to simulate. Now simulate the CLK pin. First, select the signal. Set the time to 41,666 picoseconds for a 12 MHz clock and press the high button. Click on the low button and then on the repeat button. I mistakenly wrote 83,333, but to find the issue, this wasn't a problem. Now you simulate the RX signal. For this, 
add a UART interface to the task bench. Delete the RX signals. Connect TX with the RX signal and right-click the component to create the signals. Create a process and a thread for your RX simulation. For the simulation, you first must wait until the CLK rising edge, so the process runs every clock cycle. In the thread, you can just use the write function of the UART interface. Set the chart to the ASCII value of 6 and connect the signals of your UART interface. At the end, you end this transmission with the statement WAIT. Now, select GHDL as Simulation Program and click on Run. You can see all components in the simulation and see the signals from these. First, move the CLK, RX and TX signals of the test bench file to the wave. Go to the component you wrote earlier and add the signals you used for the transmission. You can see how first your test bench sends a charge 6 with RX signal and then with TX data is returned. You can see that the TX busy and TX enable signals stay 1 and the TX data keeps sending. Now you see that the problem is that you don't set TX enable back to 0. Go back to your code and fix the problem. Just set TX enable to 0 after the UART interface starts sending. Click on the Create button Wait until the compilation is finished Click on the Program button Open the Serial Monitor Now, every time you click on the send button, a random number between 0 and 6 should be printed in the monitor. You can do this with every number between 0 and 9. Finally, you can check the simulation again, but now using a VHDL test bench. To use your test bench of the first simulation, go to the VHDL labsim.ghdp file and click on the build button. Drag the VHDL labsim.vhd file from the generated folder to your project folder and delete the VHDL labsim.ghdp file. Right click the VHDL test bench and click on simulate with GHDL. Add the signals you use for the transmission. And finally, this time your simulation should look like this.